this is Rick from the Rick and Crystal Show. And this is my special guest, Brenton. Hello, how are you doing? Crystal's not here today, she's under the weather, so uh, we decided to do it on our own. So we foresee a disastrous train wreck in progress or going off the cliff, just picture something going off a cliff. That's how the show's gonna go today. So uh, that being said, let's move on. Uh, let's talk about the cold weather. Oh yeah, it's a horrible, you know, I, I, earlier at work, uh, I was just trying not to freeze my uh, my hands off, you know. I lent my coworker some of my, one of my pairs of gloves. He lost the pair of gloves. Lost the gloves. It's like, why? In this kind of weather. It's, how do you do that? He left them out on the table and then they were gone. They should be punished for that. I, I agree. Uh, the sentence of death. Oh, yeah. is, that, is that too far? Well, it, well, it depends. I guess a little colder. Probably not. Probably be appropriate. Just sit outside for an hour. He'll be bushing his back inside. But yeah, I think tomorrow our high is six degrees. That's Ooh. our high or something. With the wind chill, it's like negative thirty or something. It's, Ooh, that's my type of weather. Well, uh, let's see. We'll pass up on the stimulus checks because you're too young for that. Oh uh, uh, yeah. I, yeah, uh, you're right. Uh, let's see. Uh, any new news with you? Oh, any new news? Yes, actually, I am on this amazing show called the Rick and Crystal Cr Cr Crystal Show. Have you been drinking? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. You got me. Uh, our, I producer, <laughs> our producer will check that out. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. be seeing you later. There's, a, there's some more questions here. Uh, we're just kidding. Him yeah. and drinking. I have though. I've I've been medicinally medicated. Because of my hernia surgery, I yeah. have to have medication because I'm in a lot of pain. It's, it's but, uh, th this this edition of the Rick and Crystal Show you know, th with our special guest Brenton is all about movies. We're going to talk about movies, our favorite movies, your favorite movies, and uh, um, strangers' favorite movies. You know, we'll we'll cost them out in the front yard. But uh, let's let's get into it, Brenton. Why don't you tell us some? Why don't you tell us? Tell us. Tell the viewers. Your first movie that you remember, your first movie, you know, that really struck you. I've got a good one. So this is whenever I was still a young boy, right? I was being babysit by my auntie, or that's what we called her. She was just some random lady we picked up on the Walmart curb, you know, I don't know. But uh, there was a few different kids. There was me, there was a few girls, there was auntie, there was a, whatever his name, I don't know. I think it was Jeff or something. Pretty George. sure auntie's not watching this, right? Be really hoping not. Really hoping not. And I was like, let's watch the Lego movie or something. I don't know. I was like, five, like four. And uh, since there was more girls, like, let's watch a Barbie movie. I'm like, why? Like, are you, are you serious? No. And we had to watch that entire movie. I'm just like, ah, oh, that's a that's a bad memory of a <laughs> But what's your first good memory? What's oh. your first movie that you really was like, I gotta see this again? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That would be Super Troopers 2. Because in the middle of the movie, <laughs> Our there was a smiling. special scene. And my little brother was getting a little bit excited. And he was only like five, maybe four. And uh, he was like, hey, I'm getting a little bit excited. But I'm going to keep a PG here. You know, Susan, please... Please do not demonetize us. Oh wait, we're not monetized yet. No, we just got the clock and uh, the producer, <laughs> and uh, we're in the, we're in the basement studio right now. Please, Susan. Uh, Susan. We're we're <laughs> we we're, we're still uh, uh, looking forward to the uh, new studio outside RCR Studios. Ooh, uh, yeah. Yep, Crystal already named it RCR Studios, and uh, it's going to be fantastic. But uh, so what's anyway, the name stand for? Uh, Rick Crystal Roberts. But uh, but uh, anyway, go go continue. Uh, look there, I see uh, Spongebob there, why don't you show that to the viewers? So, for the longest time I have loved Spongebob, you know, I make all kinds it's of different true. references. Like, my, one of my, the most relatable characters in Spongebob would be Squidward. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he just wants to get through his days, stays to his own, like, oh, <laughs> there. Wait, no, no, no. this is my favorite thing to say. Oh no, he's hot! <laughs> In uh, one episode where he was uh, like competing with Squilliam or something, he's like, okay, don't be nervous. Just imagine him in his underwear. Oh no, he's hot! <laughs> and I love that. That's just my favorite thing, you know. I, I thought it was funny. But uh, SpongeBob, he's like the, uh, the. He looks to the best sights of the world, you know, he's an optimist. And then there's Squidward, who is a, you know, Pessimist. Uh, yeah, pessimist. That's what it is. Yeah, and there's yeah. Patrick, who is uneducated, and he quite literally lives under a rock. 
Just like our producer that we got going on. <laughs> I thought I saw something pass by the ship behind. <laughs> <laughs> God, isn't that meteor? It is pretty quiet up here when the uh, nuclear power engines kick off. When they do kick on, it sounds like a huge furnace. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm sorry. What was let's, that, Russ? Let's, let's move on to some of these. Um, Ooh, Twilight. Yeah, I've never really. Oh yeah, the entire, yeah. The Twilight. Entire yeah, movie. Yeah, I think it's set in uh, North Dakota. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, this Dakota. says Forks, Washington. Uh, no, it's Washington. Oh, Washington, Washington. Right. I mean, Seattle, didn't the show Florida, start off? Right. Right. Uh, our producer grunge, grunge. is. Yeah. Well, the tell immigrant, really. But uh, the two thousand. Our uh, producer loves this movie. You know, uh, she, she, she knows all about. I don't know T2. anything. Of course, he's got T two. I'll be back. Yep. And he did come back, you know? He did. He did come back. Like, the, like four, or five, six times. Do you mind if I intersperse this with some of my movies? Because we've got yeah. to keep the show going. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not, it's not uh, me. Crystal said keep the time down. She's got to edit it. And uh, the more we talk, the more she has to edit it. So, uh, like so this is our three, three hour episode. <laughs> me and Brent. Uh, hi, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sorry, Mom. <laughs> it was his ideal. And the producers, they collaborated. It was their ideal. But here, here's one of my very favorites. In fact, Crystal, my wife, got me this for uh, my birthday or some occasion. It's Columbo, the entire the entire series. Uh, from, like, uh, good Lord, like 1968 to 2016. I mean, he's prolific. But uh, that's one of my favorites. And um, I just have a few in here. I have a whole I, this is the bag I carry around town when I'm looking for stuff to film. I carry this sack around, and uh, that's what I do. Uh, my favorite. This this one of my favorites, Parasite. You know, remember that South Korean movie? Oh, really, really good movie. movie. I just wish it, I, I wish you had the opportunity to, uh, you know, on the menu put it in English so we could hear it in English. I don't mind the captions. I like the real language. That's cool. But sometimes I'm like, just say it so I don't have to read it. You know. Uh, Say it to uh, we, we, we love this. Three. We love Napoleon. Oh, I was looking for that, dude. Yeah. That is movie Pedro. is the yeah. best. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Gosh. Pedro. Vote for Pedro. Oh, Pedro. My lips are dry. Bring me some chapstick. Idiots. Idiots. <laughs> I, I love oh his dance, God, man. Tina, you... <laughs> Idiot. You fat lord. Tina. You know, in that movie, my favorite <laughs> scene is whenever Napoleon and... Uh, well, let's just call him. Uh, Is it Uncle Uncle Rico? <laughs> yes, but for the sake of the show, we're gonna call him Perverted Timmy. Okay, <laughs> Uncle Rico. <laughs> yeah, he just he was getting. Also, also we got this epic Cleopatra. Fantastic! Ooh. It's a good long movie. Uh, let's see here, Camelot. Oh. It's a musical. Camelot. Uh, I'm zipping through these. Superman. The original from 78. Oh, are you serious? You got the 78 version? Wizard of Oz. Mm -hmm. Mom loves Wizard of Oz. Oh, you know, we actually used to watch that movie every single day back to the day. This is one of my very favorite. Stanley Kubrick, 2001 A Space Odyssey. This is uh, HD. I don't know if it's 4K or what. I don't. Can you yeah, say it right there, 4K. Oh. Yeah. yeah. One more, one more. How'd you get a movie from 78 and 4K? Oh, dude! Split. So split. there's a split. three movie franchise. It's split. It's uh, Glass and it's Unbreakable. unbreakable. Oh yeah. Thank yeah. you, producer. Yeah. I yeah, appreciate unbreakable you. Unbreakable is first, though. Yeah, Unbreakable, yeah. Split, and then Glass. Okay. Yeah, it's it's really sad the ending, you know. And we're not going to give it away, but uh, yeah, it, it, it you know, the producers all uh, is right. There's it's a trilogy uh, by the director uh, and writer that the, the, the Sixth Sense. Uh, the Indian guy, I can't think of his name, but uh, um, anyway, he's uh, you know I watched all these movies to a point, and then then some of them were like, eh, eh, you know, but uh, yeah, they, these were good. These were good. Hey, that, those movies are the best. You know, it's about three different superhumans. One super strong, yes. One super smart, I know, really unique, right? Mr. And, and one has an over like eight personalities. I'm pretty sure yeah. he says like nineteen. Twenty, 20 something. Twenty. Yeah, it's yeah. Twenty. Twenty. Twenty or something. Amazing. 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 It's like uh, Naruto. people I know and family and friends I've ran into and people I've worked with multiple personally. I attribute that to alcohol and drug use. You know, come in one day they're happy, the next day they hate you. Again. I'm in danger. I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't the uh, the actual clip. No, that was our producer having a uh, 
Well, they were having a, a revelation. Sounds like somebody needed a teepee for their bunghole. And that tonight at the Six O'Clock News. I am Cornolio. Cornolio. I need teepee for my bunghole. <laughs> Looking for Cornolio. Oh my god, I can't believe I said that on camera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, let's see, uh, anything else about movies? Uh, well, the COVID, we couldn't watch any movies last year. Well, oh yeah, Shrek is a classic. You know, somebody once told me that the world is going to roll out this uh, movie collection, and they were right, you know. Uh, I'm not the brightest tool in the shed, but uh, this movie slaps. You know, uh, your, your, the last show we did, your mom wore her Shrek up. Oh, <laughs> yeah. The little, the little beanie. I remember that. Yeah. Didn't she make that? She bit well, the she, at Walmart. She, uh, I got it for her for Christmas. Oh, okay. Uh, but, but she she got the video uploaded. It's, it's her fourth video, and she wore a Shrek hat. Yes, yeah. Mom loves Shrek. Shrek. Got the little figurines and everything. Beetlejuice, that's another great one. Dude, this one's Beetlejuice. all over the place. Hilarious. Hilarious. Michael Keaton. And uh, who is uh, Alec Baldwin? A young Alec Baldwin, you know? Yeah. I like. He's a, he's a little too left for me. Politically, but I don't care. He's a great actor. He makes me laugh all the time. I love Alec Baldwin. So this movie and Michael Keaton, oh, you know, this movie it's like watching The Wizard of Oz, but if it was someone make if, some, if the producer was on crack. Deadpool is a troll. Let's be, I keep trying to put it the camera. I mean the 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 movie to the right, but I need to move to the left, or else it's going to be you can't see it now. It's gone. You, it's not there. J j just believe me. Yeah. The power generation system on the ship just kicked on the earth. Oh, God. Do you right. Do you we're about to get going, aren't we? Is that yeah, we've got to get going. Uh, yeah. It looks like we're going to take off uh, for another orbit. So uh, we've had a short show today because uh, Crystal's out, you know, and she carries the show for me. So when she's gone, you can see a big absence. But our, our special guest today, Brent, held his own. He's a wonderful co-host. Thanks a lot, and, and uh, have a great weekend, and God bless. This is the Rick and Crystal Show. Good night.